We're following breaking news out of Washington. For years, he was one of President Trump's confidants. Now his former attorney, Michael Cohen, has surrendered to the FBI on federal charges. The Cohen reached a plea deal with prosecutors, but that plea deal did not involve providing information about the president. Investigator Mario Diaz is joining us live from our newsroom with details surrounding this plea deal and Cohen's relationship with President Trump. Mario? Bill and Lauren, a stunning reversal of fortune for the man known as President Trump's fixer, as well as the White House. As in federal court, Cohen admitted in coordination and at the direction of a candidate for federal office, he kept information that would have been harmful to the candidate and the campaign from becoming public. Cohen turned himself into the FBI's offices in lower Manhattan shortly before 2 p.m. Houston time this afternoon. Approximately one hour later, he went before a federal judge and pleaded guilty to campaign finance violations as well as tax evasion. Prosecutors saying he failed to report $4 million in income. Now, this was all part of a plea bargain deal with federal prosecutors. Cohen says he and then-candidate Trump arranged for the payment of hush money to a porn star and Playboy model. Cohen did not name the women or the president when making the plea, only recounting that he worked with an unnamed candidate and again admitted he kept damaging information private in coordination and at the direction of a candidate for federal office. Now, under the deal cut with federal prosecutors, Cohen could get four to five years in federal prison. His sentencing date is set for December 12th. President Trump did land minutes ago in West Virginia. He has yet to comment on Cohen's guilty pleas. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.